until. We have done analysis on the basis of 68 high new service, which cover around 62% of global population. Men dominate the world of paid work, and women are engaged in the world of unpaid work. In the world of paid work, women are disadvantaged in terms of participation, representation, and pay. 72% of economically active males are employed. The comparable figure for women is 47%. In terms of representation, women constitute only 22% of senior managers in global businesses. And 34% of global businesses do not have any women at the senior position. Globally, women earn 24% less than that of men. Even at senior management position in Latin America, the female senior managers earn 53% of what their male counterparts earn. So these disparities have been creating a kind of a missed opportunity. If we take Sub-Saharan Africa alone, and if we remove this kind of disparities between men and women at work, the GDP of Sub-Saharan Africa will go up by $60 billion a year. And that is a real economic loss. Now, if we move to the world of unpaid work, out of four hours of unpaid care work, women carry out three hours of work, men carry out one hour. In terms of discretionary leisure, the discrepancies between men and women is quite huge. In Sub-Saharan Africa, again, women spend two million hours every day just to fetch water. So therefore, with demographic transition, societal changes, changes in the structure of families, as well as global epidemics like Ebola last year, there is and there will be a huge care gap and the burden of which will fall upon women. In order to address these issues, three R's will be needed. First, reducing the burden of unpaid care work for women. Second, rebalancing the roles and responsibilities of men and women in paid and unpaid care work. And third, recognizing the value of unpaid care work. The fourth main message